Finishation of root beet culture of tomato. Isolated root culture are initiated from tip of aseptic seedling. Aseptic seedlings are produced by surface sterilization of seed in ethanol and chlorine solution to destroy the spores of the microorganisms and then germinating them in sterile practices. The requirement for initiating excise root culture of tomato are about 60 number of healthy tomato seeds, one sterilized empty control flux of 100 ml size fitted with a cotton wool plug, about 50 ml of 80% ethanol an aqueous solution of sodium hypochlorite about 500 ml of sterile distilled water 6 sterilized petri dishes each containing a sterile filter paper weighted by adding 10 ml of distilled water 20 wide mouth polygal flux of 100 ml size each containing 50 ml of sterile calcium medium 1 500 ml beaker and one sharp scalpel, forceps, scissor, and a wire loop. Procedure for initiation of root tip culture of tomato. All operation should be carried out in an inoculating tube. First of all, place Sterilize seed in a plug 100 ml flux and cover with 80% ethanol for 1 minute. Decan the ethanol into the 500 ml beaker and replace with the chlorine solution. Replace the cotton wool plug and leave for 10 minutes. Ensure that the seed sink in the solution by shaking the flux. Decan the chlorine solution into the beaker and wash the seed with sterilized distilled water for three times. Next, transfer six to ten seeds to each sterilized petri dishes containing wet filter paper with the help of claimed forceps. Incubate the petri dishes in the dark for about 5 days at 35 degrees centigrade until the radicals are 30 to 40 millimeter long. Excise 10 millimeter long apical tip of the root with the help of a sharp stem scalpel and transfer them singly with a flame wire loop into the flux containing calcium media. Incubate the calcium for 10 days at 25 degree centigrade. After this period, each apical tip should have developed into a root with numerous laterals. The lateral roots thus produced were used to initiate new calcium by excising the tip of lateral root and transferring them to fresh medium. The laterals continue to grow at the same rate like that of the original tip and provided several roots. These were used after seven days to initiate experimental culture. Therefore, root material derived from a single radical could be multiplied and grown in continuous culture. These genetically uniform root culture are referred to as clone of isolated roots.